guys, hello my loves, marhaba habibete. So I wanted to share with you guys a brush review. Um, I have a thing for foundation brushes because I was looking back and um, the most recent like brush review that I shared with you guys was also for a foundation brush, but they're my weakness. What can I say? <laughs> um, I picked up this uh, a cosmetics brush when? When did I pick it up? When I was in the US. Um, and I have been loving it so, so, so much, so I need to tell you guys about it. Um, this is uh, a new line, and it is, from what I can tell, exclusive to Ulta. I can't find it on the It Cosmetics site, but it is on the Ulta site, and when I go into the Ulta site, it says it's exclusive for Ulta. Um, if, for some reason, I am mistaken, um, let us know politely <laughs> down below in that comment section. Be like, hey guys, I found it on the Cosmetics website, or I bought it on QVC, or all that kind of good stuff. Let us know down below. Um, and if I do some more digging and find any of that kind of info, I'll leave it in, this, in the um, description box. Um, but for the time being, I know for sure you can get it on Ulta. Um, and if you are like me, and you like foundation brushes, you might really want this one. Um, it's $38, which is a little bit more expensive than their um, brushes, but it's part of this new Velvet Luxe line. And honestly, I don't think the price point is too high, because... I like this even more than my Marc Jacobs Face 2 brush, and that brush is pricey, and that brush is beautiful, um, but there is something about this brush, I don't I don't even know where to start. Um, let me show you a close-up of sort of the density and like the handle and the make, and then we'll zoom in, show you that, zoom back out. Let's so do it. So this bad boy right here, which is a little bit dirty because I might have used it today, but oh my gosh, you guys, it is so soft, and I hope you can tell, so it's dense, but not like the densest brush, so not maybe as dense as like a Kabuki brush, um, like an F82 from Sigma or something, um, but quite, quite dense in its own right, and it's just, oh, you know those, um, like the, the rabbit feet sort of little charms that you could get that were always so soft and all you wanted to do was stroke your face, yeah, this is all I want to do with this brush, it's so pretty, so pretty, and then this is the handle, which is rubberized, so it's nice and comfortable, but like that NARS packaging, it is prone to finger prints and that kind of thing, so just something to be mindful of. It is sort of weighted and has this dip right here so you can hold it nice and, and buff everything in. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show it to you up close and then it says it cosmetics, velvet luxe, and the brush number and then the handle is just nice and clean. Okay, so hopefully like you saw in that close up, super super soft, nice and dense but not too dense. I've used this with uh, cream and liquid foundations and it applies both beautifully. Um, I find that it gives me, so with my creams, it'll go in, I'll get a medium coverage, and then I'll, I'll go back in and I'll stipple back in, um, and I'll get a more full coverage. And it has this beautiful shape where it can, like, just sort of blend things in, and sort of all my cheeks will need more coverage. I can, like, flounce it and, like, push it in and then blend around. It just, it gives the most beautiful airbrushed finish, and it's so, so, so soft. Like, I can't emphasize that enough. So soft. Um, it does wash out really nice. I haven't had any problems with shedding while I'm using it on my face or while I've washed it. I've only washed it, I've deep cleaned it once. Um, but it's really lovely. It sits in the hand really well. Um, it comes with this little uh, plastic sort of thingamadoodle so you can keep it um, nice and like all the bristles going up in one direction. And then it also comes in this like velvet pouch which you usually see with like really high-end brushes um, so it's nice sort of if you're traveling you can throw it in here and close it and you know that it's going to be nice and safe and clean um, and the bristles are all going to be in one piece like going one way you know what I mean like it's not going to ruin your bristles or any of that kind of stuff um, it's a really really lovely brush I think it cosmetics has really stepped their game up um, I'm now wishing I picked up more of these brushes uh, to give them a try but this one I have not reached for any other brush um, for my foundation, and I love foundation brushes. So um, I just wanted to hop on quickly, tell you about this guy in case you were in need of uh, a new foundation brush or you wanted, or your foundation brush junkie. Questions, comments, all that kind of good stuff, let us know down below. It is synthetic hair, I don't know if I said that. Um, so it makes it easier to clean, like it doesn't absorb as much of your product, um, and you can clean it more often without like fear of, of ruining the un a natural bristle. Um, okay, that is it. <laughs> I'm going to do points positivity, but as always, if I forgot anything or I rushed over something, let us know down below and I will get back to you there. First point of positivity was a really yummy quinoa salad. Um, 
I was at Harvey Nichols yesterday <laughs> um, and I was starving so we went upstairs to get some food and they have a new like get the glow um, like eating for beauty and glowing and all that kind of stuff and I was like really skeptical and then they had this quinoa salad and I was like let's give it a try quinoa cherry tomatoes uh, avocado <laughs> I didn't think the word I'm like guacamole avocado and roasted uh, corn I, I could eat that salad like all day every day and that's saying a lot because this girl likes mac and cheese not usually salad um so it was super good it made me super super happy my second point of positivity is getting to chat with my mama for a little bit um I don't get to talk to her as often since I got here so it was nice to have a chance to sit and talk with her and then my third is um, a really productive day I'm like getting to like making lists and getting things finalized and like things have to start getting done um so I had a really productive day and yeah, that left me definitely with a huge smile on my face. As always, let me know what's been bringing you guys sunshine and happiness. Um, I want to send you ever so much love. Thank you as always for being here. And I can never leave you without reminding you that life is just too short to wear boring lipstick. Bye, guys.